you're watching 8-bit days a week and next on my list is C the Contra Adventure and I'm playing this on a PlayStation Classic with the Bleem Sync and RetroArch hacked on the system it's running off a USB drive and everything is left on defaults on the RetroArch at least except for one thing and that is the uh, like the software filtering thing so th things should be clearer I hope none of the blurry effects that happen when you enable the software filtering anyway see Contra Adventure it's the disappointing Contra iteration on PlayStation it was a like a follow-up to the much more disappointing uh, what was it I know it was like a 3d game it's a contra game contra I can't remember right now but yeah that shows how terrible that was it was uh, like a top-down 3d contra game on the PlayStation 1 it's developed by Appalooza and published by Konami of course and this is their kind of like a rebound for it actually they tried to make it to have back the the feel of the first um, first few Contra games and they almost did but uh, they butchered it by having no two-player mode what's a Contra game without a co-op it's not a Contra game and I'll just call this Contra in name only I mean it has been largely ignored by continuity anyway and here we go so it's a side-scroller once again at least for the first level as I know the it, it differs from level to level I think Oh yeah, and look, you have a life bar. The last time you had a life bar was in the Japanese version of uh, Hardcore in the Sega Mega Drive. And you can also still change weapons. And graphics are all in 3D, which doesn't hold up well. As with most 32 bit games of this era, I've oh, got some health there. So, um, you know, as a big run and gun fan, this can provide you even a few moments of um, entertainment. But just don't expect the level of Contra quality from uh, previous or even later games. So this is more of a curiosity for hardcore Contra fans only. If you're not a Contra fan, I um, suggest you stay away from this game. <laughs> it's not really that good. For some reason, well, I think you guys are used to it by now, but um, I can find something enjoyable in anything in any game, at least even for a few minutes. No. Oh man, I lost my spread. So bullets can uh, kill you in one shot, in one hit, but fire can. 
so as you can see, not much is really happening in the first level. It isn't like um, normal in Contra games um, because usually, especially in the Contra 3, Alien Wars and Hardcore, a lot of things actually happen. Those lights are actually distracting, but they're just lights. I mean, in Hardcore and Alien Wars, it's almost like a boss battle after boss battle to keep things really exciting, especially in Shattered Soldier. And you'd see immediately here that it's a long... You'll find yourself in long durations of just running and just killing stuff without uh, much, much, without much excitement actually, <laughs> to be honest. So things do get boring. Yeah. If you can believe that for a Contra game. Ugh. All right, switching back to my machine gun here because I'm so used to using this in any Contra game. The jumps are really floaty. Arrgh! But at least you can still control your jump, you can still aim multiple directions with your jump. And yeah, finally got the weapon. Any Contra fan will know that's going to be probably all you'll ever need. Most of the time at least. What the? There. Oh, stupid mistake. Oh, we missed the one up. So, yeah, you'll notice it's been a few minutes already and I'm still on stage one. That's how long these these levels are. Well, actually, if I remember right, it's only stage one that's actually this long. It uh, kind of becomes a drag already. But you best enjoy this drag because this is as close as to classic Contra you'll get. In later levels it's gonna be more, how do we say, uninspired. It's a waste of uh, Contra license to be honest. Alright, got ourselves our boss battle here. Or, wait, is this the last battle already for this stage? can't remember. If you've seen my other videos, I played um, Gunner's Heaven. I recommend that if you need your run and gun fix. Of course, there's also ports of Metal Slug on PlayStation. So maybe you can try that as well if you really love um, run and guns. Of course, Metal Slug is another run and gun classic. I'm not sure about the PlayStation port though, because um, it's a 2D Neo Geo game, which means loading times and frame drops or skips or whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I just lost my. What's happening? How do I avoid that? Oh, that thing can one shot me. I am reacting.
anything poorly to this one. It's almost as if I don't care already. Right, I should be able to hold my direction to just... to aim at his head or something. Anyway... Um, if I remember right, I'm sent back to the beginning here. Which means I will have to go through that all over again. That's almost 10 minutes, actually. Yep. And, um... That's it for me and this game. <laughs> and, uh, thanks for watching this one. Um, yeah, I don't recommend this at, at all. Um... Uh, but thanks for watching me trying to play it though and you're watching 8-bit days a week please do comment like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video